Mary Bono was elected to the Congress of the United States in a landslide vote to fill the seat of her husband, Sonny, the victim of a very fatal skiing accident this past winter. After a sometimes bitter campaign, Congresswoman Bono returned to Washington to fulfill Sonny's political legacy. And today, in a ceremony remembering his longtime TV and recording career, Sonny Bono was honored with a star on Hollywood Boulevard's Walk of Fame. Mary Bono joins us to remember Sonny and talk about her new life in Washington, D.C., right after this short break. Uh, now here is California Congresswoman Mary Bono, who represents uh, our state back in Washington, D.C. Thanks for coming uh, in. I know you have a short weekend here in uh, California, and it's back to work in Washington, D.C. Uh, how were you at that ceremony today? How, how was that, uh, the Sonny Bono star on Hollywood Boulevard? Emotional day? It was emotional. It was very moving. It was a special and wonderful tribute, and, and it was so nice to be there with the entire family. And, and to see it. I think the star was long overdue, mm -hmm. but nonetheless, it was still very special and wonderful. Let me ask you about your family. You know, you've got your, your and Sonny's children, uh, and you have an extended family now that probably includes Cher, Chastity Bono, mm -hmm. okay? What is that like? What has that brought to your life, this new extended family? You know, it, it's brought a lot, I think, of, of support, certainly to me since January, first of all, but it's been, we've been close for a long time, and I have to really thank Christy Bono and Chastity for that. It's always been important to them that we all get along well. Mm -hmm. And they've worked very hard to make sure that we're a pretty good unit. Mm -hmm. so and had you known Cher before? Uh... Well, not before I was with Sonny, but Cher and I have been friends certainly since Sonny and I met. I right. think Cher and I got along better than Sonny oh, no, She's very, did. very easy to get along with, right. by the way. In fact, uh, uh, in reading about you, it was she who suggested after Sonny's accident that, you know, if you want to run, you should do this. You should get on with this. Son. Right. You know, it, Coming from Cher, that meant a lot to me because Cher, first of all, understands what it's like to be a single working mom mm -hmm. and how hard and difficult it can be. So when she gave me the green light, she said, if it's what you want to do, go for it. It pulled a lot of weight for me. And when you were sworn in as a member of Congress, what was that like? I mean, that had to be a very proud moment for you. And I know your kids were there for that, too, were they not? They were. Yeah. And it was an extremely proud moment for me. And it was sort of another strange moment, I guess, on this life that I've been living since January. Mm -hmm. but. It didn't really hit me that I'm a member of Congress until I was actually sitting on the floor and watching some of the debate go on. Then I realized that uh, there I was, and it was very exciting. Have you, have you gotten to like it a little bit? Uh... Oh, I like it very much. It's very exciting, and you really do feel that you can make a difference when you're there. And, you know, Sonny used to call Washington, D.C. the heartbeat of the world, and you can really feel it when you're there. And if, if there were an agenda that Sonny Bono had when he represented uh, his district in Congress, what, was, what were some of the things that he wanted for his district and his constituents that you will now try to get for them? What kind of work will you carry on in Sonny's, uh, as his successor? You know, first and foremost, we have... Forgive me, I'm trying to choose words here that won't, you know, make you feel badly, if you, if you know what I mean. I, you're doing a good job. Thanks. Um, thank you for trying. You know, uh, Sonny cared deeply about the Salton Sea and saving the Salton Sea, which is an environmental problem we have out in the 44th district of California. It also goes a little bit south of, of my borders, but it is a huge lake. I don't know if you know about it. Yes, I do. Okay, and, and Sonny had said that he wanted to be known more for saving the Salton Sea than he did for his entertainment or his songwriting career. So this is something that I'm working on passionately as well, and I think given that it meant so much to him, on top of it being such an important issue for the, for the people of the district, mm -hmm. I... And, and forgive me because I don't mm -hmm. live in your district, but is the Salton Sea in danger of extinction of some kind? Is it, is it diminishing in size? Or? You know, at this point it's not diminishing, but what's happening is the salinity is increasing. And uh, right now it's already 30%, I believe, is the figure uh, more salty than the ocean. And the scientists are anticipating that between 10 and 15 years it will, it will become a completely dead sea. Mm -hmm. And right now it is a very important, uh, I guess, uh, body of water for the Pacific Flyway for our birds and, and between Mexico and Canada. So between 10 to 15 years and it will not be capable of sustaining life. Well, let me ask you about the reception you've gotten back in Washington. I mean, you're, you're female, which is, you know, a minority position in the Congress right now, and you are the widow of a man who had celebrity both in politics and in showbiz. How do these crusty old <laughs> D.C. politicians greet Mary Bono? How do they feel about you, and what kind of a reception did you get when you got to Washington? You know, they've been wonderful to me, and I think I'm lucky for a number of reasons. I think I'm getting a good reception because Sonny had set it up so well. He was liked by everybody. So I think I'm seeing a lot of the goodwill that he had created. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, he came in in the 104th Congress, so I know all of those people so well, but I'm actually a part of the 105th, so I've sort of got a double class there of people who are helping me and welcoming me right along. So it's going well. Before you went to Washington, 
I read somewhere that your mother-in-law said you should stay home and take care of the children. Has mother-in-law come around now? I think so. I mean, we'll see. You know, I, I spoke to her this past Saturday, and, and uh, she said she'd like to put the whole thing behind us and bury it all. So we'll, well see. Of course. Hey, listen, mother's-in-law, you know, everybody has a mother-in-law who's right. married, and they, say, they, they speak their mind. In my, in, in my experience with my mother-in-law, when I was a married man, she spoke her mind. And although I didn't always agree, I said, you know, she has a right to say what she wants to say. Well said. And then I, <laughs> then I went ahead and did what I wanted to do anyway, as, as, as you did too. How, how about the kids? Are they, I mean, they lost their dad, you know, and, and, and how are the kids? Are they okay? They're great. They're, um, they're adjusting, as yeah, we all tough, are, I know. to the new life and uh, realizing what it means. And, you know, perhaps they won't even really know what it means not to have their dad around, in, I think, until years forth. But uh, right now they're... We're all adjusting to all of the, the new changes, and, and I think the added stress load and all of us, we have to certainly do a lot more work and carry a lot mm -hmm. more around the house. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, but they're wonderful, wonderful children, and I, I couldn't be more blessed and lucky than I am with these two little human beings. And what about Sonny? When you and he were together, what memories would he share with you about his, his showbiz career? Oh, wonderful memories. You yeah. know, he, he loved that career, I think, more than anything. Although he, he loved politics while he was doing it, I really think yeah. that... Of course, the entertainment career was the one that was deep inside, and, and he would have returned and to And, you know, when he did it with Cher, like they were, they were on CBS, they had the Sonny and Cher show, and I guess those shows run now on TV Land or Nick at Night or somewhere. There was a certain innocence about that time on television. You know, when, when Sonny and Cher were on and the other shows, Beverly Hillbillies, and these people were, were, they were real people, but there was an innocence. There, there wasn't crime involved or skullduggery. They were just normal people on television sharing part of their lives with you. Right. It was a great show. It was a wonderful show, and I think that's why we're seeing you know, it, it coming back again. And, and mm -hmm. Cher is doing a special next week, and Cher remembers Sonny, and I saw it today. She showed it to me, and it's wonderful. The clips are wonderful, and I think we forget how wonderful TV used to be. As you're saying, well, not that there aren't some things on today that are okay. I mean, it's not all crap today. <laughs> <laughs> no, there are, but you know, it, it is that innocence and that simple humor that was just a uh, a wonderful sense of humor yeah. and so well written. And you know, the Sunny and Cher show launched a number of wonderful careers, Terry Garr and Steve Martin. Sure. And uh, it, 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 I, I really enjoyed it today. I think that uh, although it was, it's what, 20 years ago it, or, or more. Just think 20 years ago or more. Or more. And, and how about yourself? And reading about you, I know that you always are very supportive of Sonny and that you worked with him behind the scenes, both in showbiz and when he went into politics. Now you're out front, you're, 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 you're out there. How is it stepping out? You know, it, it's tricky sometimes, yeah. and I think that the hard thing now is I realize, boy, when I say something, it can come back to haunt mm -hmm. me if I'm not See it in careful. print, kid, yeah. Right, yeah. and uh, that I have to take things seriously. But I think being with Sonny for 14 years set me up well, and I think I've under, I understand the process, I understand what goes into it and the repercussions of what can happen. So I, I think I've been trained by one of the best around. Yeah, so. and now you've got to run for office all over again in November, huh? Right. Yeah, well... Good luck to you, young lady, <laughs> and you. Uh, thank you for coming in. I know this has been a very long and very emotional day for you, and I really appreciate your taking the time to visit us tonight. Well, thank you. And do well in Washington, okay? Thank you. Thanks a million, Mary. Mary Bono, uh, member of Congress from the, uh, the uh, 44th District here in Southern California. We'll be right back to tell you about Monday night's program after these messages. I sincerely hope that you didn't find this maudlin tonight. You know, we talked about Sinatra, we talked about Sonny Bono, and then, of course, I made one of the great gaffes of all time when I said his very fatal accident. I mean, you know, once again, I proved myself to be a moron in some situations, for which I apologize. On Monday, Joe Regobuto was here, uh, who is one of the characters on Murphy Brown. It's, uh, Monday is the last uh, episode of Murphy Brown, the very final episode. And then our friend Dr. Dean Adele from the San Francisco Bay Area and tips on good health as summer approaches. I hope you have a terrific weekend. My thanks to everybody who made this program possible tonight. We'll be back Monday night, same time, same station. Thanks for watching, everybody.